What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action, spawning in the top of the map in the blue color, playing as Zeus. His name is Odin King, the 12th. He's up. Well, he's actually got one win in this best of three series here that I'm uh, that I'm viewing on Voobly. Your place for Age Mythology, the Titans, and all other Age of games. Come say good day. We are uh, free to uh, run... No, we're free, free to play, free to play over here. You just need to find the game. You know, in the closet where you had it when you were a child, you know, or um, in a different place. His opponent today in the red color playing as Thor using his Dwarven gold mine at the start of the game. His name is Swiss Boy. The map is Ghost Lake. And while I do jest, about the Dwarven gold mine. This is a two gold mine ghost lake, so throwing the gold mine down at the start isn't the worst thing in the world because you can go between these two. Um, the only problem arises when you have a really bad, or when one of these gold mines is quite bad. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what Swiss Boy is going to uh, gonna come up with here. But of all of the maps to have Thor against. Uh, Zeus on the best possible one is definitely a ghost lake with two gold mines um, and potentially having some boar action as well uh, big problem for Swiss boys he hasn't spotted his boar he was actually is he eating berries he ate a little bit of berry before coming over onto here so he's he's eating his second hunt first which is great but his home hunt which is missed yet again um, very very unfortunate as well uh, that he's missed that one there. But he doesn't have Hunt down here, does he? No. We'll see how it goes. We have seen a Relic, Kopesh of Horus. Big Relic there. That one's important. It's going to really help if uh, Odin King wants to go for Centaur. Centaur, always an issue for Thor in this matchup. I do recommend going for um, Force Eddy here as Thor. Gives you two options. You know, one against the Athena Rush. You get uh, access to Trolls, which are really good to help defend and help you get to the Heroic Age without having to spend too much gold. And the other option it gives you is Hursa, Hall of Thanes. Hursa against the, uh, the impending Centaur issue that you're going to be having. So... Very, very good god. Uh, though we do see a lot of the time store players sort of go on auto autopilot and get their frail. Um, and then they'll run into the problems against um, against the uh, Centaur, but not so much against the the Athena Rush. Well, I do love this temple from Swiss Boy. This is a very smart temple. When you're playing against Zeus, against the potential Athena Rushes, the towers need wall segments. And I do believe you need a double Ulf suck in the Archaic Age here as Thor in order to get them all up. Make sure your base is nice and safe. Um, we'll see if, Thor, if Swiss Boy is going to be doing that or not. Temple coming up for Odin King. He's going for the standard Zeus build order. If you guys want to know what that one is, it's three wood. Or it's four food, three wood, two gold, the rest food. And you advance very, very fast. 430, in fact, with very, very good resources in the bank. Um... You can see that the village is moving over here onto these boar. Looks like Swiss Boy is going to have a nice time eating these. So he may have actually eat all the hunt early. Big problem for him though is the berry bushes in the middle of the... Um, uh, basically exposed. Very tough for him to get. We do see a lot of all segments here for Swiss Boy. He's not deleting the second one. So he's, he's uh, doubling his cost here. Losing out on... Uh, well, he's, he, What's 12 times 3? I don't know. 36. Um, instead of half of that. 18. Four, you thought it used to be five. It did used to be five. Now it's four. Four food, three go three wood, two gold, meta strats. 474, Swiss boy. A little bit late, but he's going. And we are seeing Hermes for Roden King. How many villages on wood? Eight villages on wood. Eight villages on wood. And we'll see if this works. Um, people have been saying that Hermes... A little bit underpowered now for Zeus because of the uh, the big changes to the centaur. Their uh, special attack only doing um, 50 damage instead of what it used to do, which was more than 50 damage or something like that. Can be used on humans and villagers. 50 PS damage. I don't think that's right because otherwise it would two hit the villagers. I think it has a negative damage multiplier against uh, against villagers. 
As he's walking in with the Sentai, he's going to hit these villagers nice and early. Um, for some reason, Swiss Boy has killed his other boar as well, but we do see that the Hursa are coming out. He should send this villager back in and then turn around and come onto the uh, back onto the boars, but the Jason comes in, so he does have to leave. We do see that the troll pops out. Oh, be careful. Don't want to throw away your troll. No, not the troll. Not the troll. And he does manage to get back there. We do see the Centaur coming and going to be trying to hit these gatherers in the back of the base here. Um, the troll does very nicely against the, uh, the Centaur as well. But you have to position them. And we do see that one villager will fall here. Oh, no, no, he manages to keep the villager alive. He's got a wood tr wood line over here that he can wall in as well. So he could wall this down the bottom and then chop down wood there. But he's coming up to the top. We see a villager. How did you get in there? Odysseus coming in now for Odin King. He's ready to start pushing off of this food. Swiss boy just making her so, but he's actually housed. Swiss boy housed at the moment. The wall's almost up. Getting them down the bottom. It's a lot of the map he has to wall off. Probably would have been better to just wall off this way. And you see the troll gets sniped there as well. Is this Odysseus getting taken down. There's not a lot of value now that Odin King can get though. So Swiss boy has mitigated a little bit. Idle villagers though for Swiss Boy. He needs to get them going. Someone in the chat is asking what exactly does an immediate gold mine get you? It means you don't have to build your ox cart early for your gold mine. So you're netting yourself eight seconds of extra villager train time. Which means you get a little bit extra resources and generally nets one extra hersa. So if you feel like you need it to survive, you're probably going to lose on your second gold mine anyways. <laughs> uh, but the Santa are in here on the bottom of the map. Odysseus still chat. Oh, he's going to lose his off sock. Oh, no. Santa moving in, hitting these villages. Nice micro from Swiss boy to keep them alive. He's going to have to retreat though. He's almost losing another villager. And he gets back. Oh, he does get into the town center. Keeps those villages alive for the time being. Second town center up for Odin King as well. He's playing this nicely so far. Lots of villagers on the berries. Has he got husbandry? He does have husbandry. Just start eating those herbals now. Totally fine. The big problem that Odin King is going to run into is going to be um, his farm transition. It's what all of the inexperienced um, Greek players have issues with the farm transition. So we'll see if he can manage that well or not. Kopesh of Horus coming in for Odin King. Swiss boy wishes he could have grabbed that one. We just see the, uh, the raiding cowboy trying to get back. The wall coming up here for Swiss Boy needs to reposition that one again. We'll throw it up. Now Swiss Boy should feel fairly content. He's throwing up his second town center, which, I mean, I don't like it that much because it kind of allows Odin King to go for a semi-fast mythic here, um, which is actually really, really strong against literally everyone. <laughs> uh, I, I much prefer to see the, the fast... The fast heroic here, one one town center heroic age here from from Swiss boy, and then the town center. But we'll see if this works out for him. There's the healing spring coming up here, and the reason you go one town center um, heroic is because then you can threaten a push onto second gold mine or onto the home gold mine onto anything really onto this food or anything. Because once you have Frost Giants, these Santars start looking very uh, not scary. There's the Dwarven Armory coming up for Swiss Boy. More walls coming through as well. But right now, Swiss Boy... Swiss Boy probably should be raiding with like two or three of those Hursa. Because the Santa are going to leave with just one Hursa on them because they'll die eventually. So you don't need all five of them there. So just leave one or two Hursa in your base. Go around and try and raid back against the um, against against the, the Zeus player who's got no units because he's gone for an early second town center making Santa. It'll be very easy for you to get some value here, especially on these berry bushes. And we do see him sending the raiding cavalry out, which is not actually correct. Raiding cavalry are going to get denied by the centaur. 
That's going to hurt. Well, there's the second town center for Swiss Boy. Problem that Swiss Boy is going to um, run into is the same problem which Odin King is potentially going to run into. And that's the farm transition. And how many villages on wood? Only four villages on wood here. Swiss Boy's got 162 wood. Actually, he's going to be able to advance. This is really good. Swiss Boy going to be able to advance through Skadi. That's going to allow um, Swiss Boy to go to the wood, the full wood-based army here. Making Huskull throwing Axemen. Throw up two hill forts on this gold mine. Smack and smack. And then you go full wood. Full dwarf before transitioning into farms. Really, really strong. You do see that Swiss boy is still having to retreat here. He does decide to turn around. He's going to be able to catch Odin King's center. All right, he gets one kill. Nice play there by Swiss boy. I mean, the other thing that Swiss boy can try here, which is totally, totally fine, is throw the market down, put all of his dwarves that he's built onto gold, and then buy his way to Ragnarok and go for a um, a Ragnarok all in. Probably might work. Probably not. But there's the Scardi. We do see Hillfort going down straight away. Nice play from uh, Swiss Boy. And we can see no ox cart over here for some reason, but uh, that is what it is. Coming out the dwarves. Uh, and essentially, Odin King now needs to get out her past He should know that. Well, should, how do you know that her past are coming? Um, you, you don't, but you know there's Herso already with a. Uh, with throwing axemen and the Hapaspus are a guarantee. Definitely two hill forts though, even though the, the Huskar will take nine seconds to train, which is not a lot of time at all, but with only one hill fort, it's not enough. It's like you need the two in order to spam them out fast enough. More well, Centaur coming in, gonna go for some more raids here. We don't have crenellation, so we can just move in, try and get a villager pick here. But um, Swiss Boy can make a push now. Move in and even throw a hill fort on this location here, not a bad idea. Do you see the villagers turning around, fighting these rain cavalry? Nice micro from Swiss Boy. He does spot this. Freezes the villager. We'll have to kill this wooden wall, though. I mean, you can walk through, but you don't want to do that. Because you can just... You can just wall it off, and then you're not going to be able to escape. <laughs> but maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe Own King is under some pressure right now. So units all flowing in. There's more Huskal coming in. More Hursa. How are the armory upgrades looking for Swiss Boy? He's got Pierce armor only. Has he thought about getting Huntress Axe? No. But Hera coming through for Odin King. This is really smart by Odin King. It's going to be able to pick off all of these units here and set Swiss Boy back so much. And then now you see this problem that we were going to have. By not killing this wall, he's uh, making life hard to retreat. But it's fine. There's the, the fortress coming through for Odin King. Swiss Boy retreating with his army over here. And Swiss Boy sort of needs to... Well, I mean, what do you do? How do you know? How do you know that Hera is coming here? This is a really smart play by Odin King. Not only is Hera good with because Lightning Storm, but also the Medusa counters the Frost Giants, which then means you can build Heliopolis um, without any worry that the Frost Giants will just make them useless. And, I mean, normally Frost Giants, 200 gold trading into a 500 resource unit, the Heliopolis, it's um, it's pretty good. But with Medusa there, it's, it stops being good. <laughs> but another hill fort coming up for Swiss Boy. Do we see a Mythic Age? Not yet. Swiss Boy's trying to get there. But Hera is about to get hit here. There's Hera. Now what do you do as Swiss Boy? You stay near these these hill forts. You can keep um, you can keep a lot of these units alive here. And I think Odin King knows that these hill forts are here, so he definitely should not cast Lightning Storm. So Odin King's got to be smart enough not to do that. So now he can just hold on to it for Ragnarok. And if you're Swiss Boy here, you probably just want to go tier, because then you can get out. Um, well, you hurt your opponent's economy a little bit, but we'll see. There's the Lightning Storm. Swiss Boy's garrisoning inside of his location. There we do see the, the Frost Giant get sniped there by the uh, Medusa. Even a couple of um, 
these villagers getting picked off. That's got to hurt quite a bit. Now the Lightning Storm's over. Yuna's going to pop back out. And he can push back completely fine here. the frost. Totally fine to use that one there to give him some opportunities, but Bellerophon out. I would definitely use this entire time to snipe the Bellerophon because <laughs> at this stage in the game Bellerophon's really, really strong. You've got 35 seconds. You're going to be able to take this down get that damage done. We do see the Heliopolis is out as well. But Ragnarok on the way now for Swiss Boy. How much gold left in the base? Nearly 2k gold. Nearly 2k gold in the base, so that's going to be very, very helpful. And the uh, Pascal coming forward for Swiss Boy. Going to take these down. And the, uh, the Bellerophon does fall there. Nice play from Swiss Boy to recognize how important taking that one down is. The Medusa going to get sniped as well. Probably worth um, turning around and using that special ability again. It doesn't actually do so. And we'll lose that one. And now, Odin King with a big advantage here. But Swiss Boy's got his Ragnarok. He doesn't actually actually have to click it straight away. This is the big thing that uh, a lot of Thor players don't realize. Thor players, late game, not the worst. Get the economy sorted. Chuck the market down. Get that trade going. Get the third town center. I like these raids coming through for the Huskull. Huskull, very strong raiders. They're quite fast. Five speed, 8.8 .8 damage at the moment because he's got... Well, he doesn't even have any upgrades. That's just medium upgrades there. He's going straight in onto these wood villages over here. Meanwhile, the Hursa fighting on this location. Not the best. I don't really want to fight it without those Huskull. Just retreat back to your, um, your hill fort here and defend. And then Swiss Boy... Hits the, hits the Mythic Age here. Huskull looking for some gold villages. They do spot them. He spots them, but he hasn't noticed it just yet. See if he moves on to that one. We just see a Hypaspus coming in. And now what? The other thing that um, the Swiss boy can do now is uh, because Odin King's going to need to preemptively start building um, Hypaspus, he can just go pure raiding cavalry here with, with or pure cavalry here with Jarl as well to boot. It's a really, really nice play. Um, or a nice nice way to play this uh, this stage of the game. Um, but again, this is not something that is uh, seen very often. So you have to know what to do. There's the Underworld Passage from Odin King. Wants to deny this town center. Nice play there by Odin King. Not allowing Swiss Boy back into this game just yet. Meanwhile, moving forward, going to attempt to push through this location. The Underworld, where is it? It's in the main base of Odin King. So you can get a lot of value out of pushing through here and potentially taking the fortress. We see the town center coming in for Odin King now. That's huge. Absolutely huge here. Still, do we have any trade route started? No trade route for Swiss Boy. He needs to bank some resources up. Get that trade route going. Rag and rock to get his town center back. And then play this late game out. You don't need to go for the win. You just need to set yourself out in the late game. Meanwhile, Odin King moving forward. Going to be attempting to push through the main base of Swiss Boy. Fortified town center is coming through. Odin King's already got them. He's also getting Masons out as well. You see those Toxodes coming through. More units moving in for Swiss Boy. As the Armory is coming through as well. So you see the Fortress about to fall here. This is an aside. They should um, make it so that Fire Giants can't use their special onto buildings. Because it doesn't do anything. Right? That this, the... the um, Fire Giants deal double the damage listed due to the attacking twice during one of that one. Fire Storm does only 25 hack, 15 crush. Does it do something? Maybe I'm wrong. It always feels like it doesn't do anything. Anyways, Bellerop on here, ready to pick off these Fire Giants. I'm going to be able to take down the Bellerop on before it uh, causes too much more chaos. But there's the Ragnarok there. For Swiss Boy, 265 pop. Well, the town center looking like it's going to fall as well. It's going to be really close. The Heliopolis stays alive for so long. 200 HP. Looks like he's going to turn around before it falls. 
And Swissboy manages to hold on to that town center, which is really big. He's pushing off this gold mine for the time being. The Paspists are here, though, for Odin King, so he can easily tear through the infantry army of Swissboy. And Swissboy does not have many... Um, Many counters to these Bassbus at all. He does have the medium throwing axe, no Huntress axe. Decent upgrade though. He's got Iron Mail here, so it's going to help out quite a bit against the Bassbus. And there's the Ceasefire. This is another reason why we can't cast Ragnarok against um, against Zeus too early. Ceasefire comes in. No, uh, no economy for this whole minute here as Odin King just gets set up. He can get upgrades to boot, gets Athenian Wall, gets Champion Archers here. What's Athenian Wall do? Is that building? Yeah, an extra 20% building hit points. That's, that's a lot of HP on the buildings, to say the very least. In fact, is that more than Hades' bonus? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, we see the the uh, the hero is trying to push through. Looks like Swiss Boy still needs to push back onto this location over here, but he's going all in on this top spot. A couple of units up onto the top gold mine, getting some villager kills here. Nice play, but needs to send more units over there. More heroes of Ragnarok are making their way in. Meanwhile, the units cannot get out of this location here. It's looking like. Swiss boy is stuck. He sort of needs to sacrifice his army and just kill off the villagers. Kill off as many villagers as he possibly can. Um, and he is sort of doing that. Meanwhile, these units in the front here doing some damage. And while this is going on, these husks are getting a lot of value here. Meanwhile, the army of Swiss boy attacking this town center as well. And it's looking as though Odin King will be able to hold on to this. Look at that HP there. 4 4 8 0 here. Does he have. Uh, he doesn't even have architects yet. But all those villagers do fall. The army falls as well. Odin King sitting at 98 population at the moment. These villagers still falling over here. Meanwhile, the Huskal can take so much damage from those Toxodes. More villagers are falling. And this town center will look like it is about to fall as well. The, um... Uh, the, the Zeus army not able to defend this. Meanwhile, the army of... Swiss boy going to be leaving this location over here after all of that damage is done He should send these units over and hit these villages as well And that way he can start the villager production back and he already has has he started trade not started trade yet Why not you've got resources in the bank you're only on um, Two town centers here the extra market uh, it makes itself a third town center So then you can be getting three villages every 15 seconds Which is going to be able to get you back in this game very very quickly get that economy going and at this point It's looking like Odin King has has lost enough economy here so such that Swiss boy can ha hit a pretty decent fire giant follow-up if he had the gold but because he has no trade here he's not going to be able to do so he's going to be running straight into this location nice sort of fake here pull pulling Odin King's army out going to be surrounding at the back here it's looking like Odin King has to retreat there is a fire giant here as well hit this gold mine what are you doing get in there Get those raids. We are seeing these buildings getting taken down over here. Swiss boy kind of not using this army correctly. He needs to get it over onto this location. Potentially get this town center back. Kill off that um, that underworld passage. We are seeing the fire giant come in. Fight this. You can fight this with the help of that fire giant. But nice micro there actually to pull that one back. And then the fire giant to target down those pass instead of the Toxodi. But he's not doing so. Meanwhile the heroes are killing off a lot more villagers here. And Swiss boy... While this is going on, pumping villagers out, um, we're seeing Odin King doing exactly the same. A Bellerophon coming in to pick off the fire giant. The villagers need to retreat off that gold mine, and now Odin King is gold cut for the time being. But Bellerophon will help out quite a bit in this situation. Still, no trade route started for Swiss Boy. I hate it. This would be. Such an easy victory here for Swiss Boy at this point. He's done so much damage with this Ragnarok. So much damage. And we're seeing Odin King moving forward here, ready to start fighting with the help of the Bellerophon. Going to hit this fire giant. Got to move that fire giant back. Oh, he doesn't do it. You can dodge that special ability of the Bellerophon there, but does not do it. Meanwhile, we're seeing a longhouse coming down for Swiss Boy as his economy is starting to get 
uh, into gear here. He's got 14 villagers on food here. Does he have irrigation? He does have irrigation. We can start gathering some gold here. Still no bloody trade route started. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. But there's all these units over here, and he's going to be trying to surround this gold mine with longhouses. Meanwhile, where's Odin King getting gold from? He's getting it from nowhere. He does have this gold mine. Still a thousand gold left in it. And Swiss Boy did not secure this town center here. So Odin King can potentially simply just get that town center back. Also, this town center not getting rebuilt. Only a thousand HP on it. It's got to hurt. You do see Heracles is out as well, ready to start bashing down. Onto Swiss boy. No trade route. You need to make uh, some yarls at this point, I think. Some raiding cavalry as well to deal with the army that uh, that Odin King has. It's just a bit too slow. I'm going to see him just retreat back to his hill forts. He's got 600 gold left in this gold pine. He's not going to be able to secure this gold mine, I don't think. He might be able to, but I doubt it. But more importantly is that this, uh, this settlement is just not able to get grabbed. We are seeing him using the healing spring. Healing his units back up to full HP. Role playing as Odin. See the Bellerophon running in. Going to look to maybe snipe a villager or two. The damage is 100 hack damage, so I'm pretty sure it one hits villagers. 25%. Yeah, it only does 75, 75 hack damage, I think. So we'll be able to jump in and just pick villages off. This is some nasty raiding here if Bellerophon or if Odin King wants to attempt to do it. It looks like he's taking a lot of damage here. Nice play from Swiss Boy in order to take that one down. We do see a house falling. Two houses falling, actually. And now we see some Yarls coming out for Swiss Boy. I like that in order to deal with these this army composition here. Really smart. And the town center coming back up for Odin King. How does Swiss Boy get this back in this stage of the game is the question. Frost Giants with Rhyme, not a bad idea at this point. You don't want to go Fire Giant. They get picked off too easily by Bellerophon. But the Frost Giants with Rhyme, if you check out the armor the armor that they have, they're sitting at 55% um, well, hack armor. Fire Giants at 60% hack armor, 600 HP. But the HP for uh, Frost Giant goes up by 200 so you survive a lot longer with those fire with those frost giants. They do basically the same amount of damage, if not more damage, onto buildings. So these buildings get taken down by the Heliopolis. Nice play by Swiss Boy to get that to be distracted there. We do see the Yarls out, but no upgrades for them in terms of line upgrades. Do we see any techs coming? No, no techs. And Swiss Boy sees his opportunity here. There is an opportunity here for a gold staff. There is a small trade route started by Odin King. Only 13 um, gold a trip though. He has started this market up, so he should just delete this market. Get those donkey caravans going the right way. Village is idle over here. We're seeing some army coming for this town center here. Finally getting repaired as Mason's coming through as well. The Hapaspist are Zeus Hapaspist, so they're doing 12 damage and attack here. The villagers moving in, and this town center is going down. Nice movement here by Odin King, and Odin King wants to take this town center for himself. Leave a couple of units over here, I guess. Make sure this doesn't get taken. Can even move in and make sure this trade route's not going to this side of the map. But the town center goes down. Swiss boy at 140 population, Odin King at 160. Also a couple of resources in the bank here for Odin King. But this army is very strong now for Swiss Boy with those Ulfjarls. Enough to take down the Hapaspis for sure. And it looks like this town center is going to get denied here by Swiss Boy for the time being. Meanwhile, Donkey Caravan is getting sniped. No gold for Odin King. No gold income at this point for Odin King at all. Well, I say at all. He's getting 13 gold a trip by these three Donkey Caravans. <laughs> I'm seeing these units fighting here. The, the Yarls tanking all of the damage from those Apaspas. Really, really good micro here by, uh, by Swiss Boy. See so the villagers coming back in. And it's looking like... Potentially it's looking like Odin King might win. No, he's not going to win the fight. He's going back on the town center for some reason. These villagers all going to fall. And this is huge for Swiss Boy actually because the gold was cut. Or at least somewhat cut. Still no, still no trade route. This gold mine's going to expire. And Swiss Boy's not going to have a trade route set up. He does deny the town center though. He'll be able to get that one back up. 
But the question is, how can he get this town center down? Well, f through 4,400 um, HP of stuff there. I mean, the, the, the great Yarls might be able to start taking it down. He's got some. He's got a timer here to get this get this up. Only King 136 population. Difficult time to get that back up. We do see some Myrmidon coming out. But he's not going for it. He just doesn't want the town center. Why take the town center? Who knows? He's looking to keep getting that gold starved. We're seeing some raids now coming in for Odin King hitting this gold mine. Like I said, this probably wouldn't be much of a gold mine for Swiss Boy. He's just built a trade route. Ah! Yeah, you can make Battle Rams, exactly. Get that a Dwarven Augur upgrade. Negative 50% train time on those Battle of Rams, and you can hit this. We do see if ba Bellerophon is out. Fire Oh no, he's sending the Fire Giant right to where Bellerophon is. Odin King might not notice it. Yeah, he didn't notice it, so the, the Bellerophon uses his special. Meanwhile, Yarl's coming in to try and take down Heliopolis, but now we've got Myrmidon. Myrmidon counter the uh, the Yarl's quite hard. And still no Huntress Axe for the Throwing Axeman. The Throwing Axeman will be able to deal with the Myrmidon if they get that Huntress Axe and get those line upgrades as well. Bellerophon comes in. Bellerophon runs away. You can use Bellerophon to raid here. What's this? Recharge time. Oh, I must be on the wrong... I must be on the wrong tooltip. It's five seconds there. It's definitely not five seconds. <laughs> Gonna have to update that tooltip. Nice raid here from Swiss Boy picking off more of these trade caravans. But still not going for this. I see some longhouses. Fire giant coming. A couple of fire giants, actually. But just like a couple of battle rams would be completely fine here. There we go. Jumps in, snipes the ox card. He's going for the other ox card as well. That's so disgusting. I feel like ox carts, you should be able to you should be able to pay um, 50 wood, 50 gold, and then have the ox cart turn into um, like uh, a storehouse which has I don't know 500 HP, just as a as a random random change. Watch showers coming up for Odin King now on this location, and it's looking like Odin King is in control of this game at this point. It's got a really strong economy, and Swiss Boy's just not been able to get this town center here. Should not worked out for him. And I think it does all stem from the fact that his, his re-economizing was too slow because he didn't build trade. If he'd built trade, he would have crazy amounts more resources. He's actually got, and he's got none at the moment. He's going to run out of this gold mine and the game's going to be over anyways. <laughs> There's three ox caravans coming over here for Swiss boy. <laughs> Bit of an overreaction, but it is what it is. Now Fortress coming up for Odin King as he's trying to attack this location here. But you see the Swiss boy's just like, well, if I can cut his trade, maybe I can win. And he might not be wrong. We do see the Medusa, Medusa Matriarch coming in. What does this do? Extra 33% hit points. Nice micro there from Swiss boy to retreat away. 478 HP does not look a lot when the great Yarls are here. Slapping him away. Oh, nice micro. Oh, he misclicked. He misclicked on the throwing axeman. No. The Medusa's going to be trying to retreat away. 20 seconds recharge time on that special ability there. And there's the fortress up. You can probably just build a wall around here and then make a Petropolis and take this town center down. Meanwhile, this trade route should get denied here. Somewhat. Somewhat denied. Does he have a... Uh, Temple of Feeling. It doesn't look like he's got Temple of Feeling. Make this Bellerophon live forever. And there's the wall coming up for Odin King, ready to build this Petropolis and just take this town center down. Swiss Boy probably has... Does he have a good enough economy? No, he doesn't. I was, sometimes at this point in the game, Thor players over-economize, but it looks like Swiss Boy is actually under-economized here. 15 wood villages. Looking like... 15 food villages, the rest of gold, all into army at this point. And he's just full metal going for this. Another Medusa out, hitting the, the Frost Giant. Does, not Frost Giant, Fire Giant does kill it. It's a good trade though for Swiss Boy, to be honest, to trade one Fire Giant for one Medusa. 
And he's still able to push in through Odin King, but Odin King's got the Petropolis out now. And that town center is going to be going down. Well, the question is, can Swiss Boy take this town center down? Or prevent the trade? Keep this gold staff happening. Odin King, Odin King can restart his trade over this side. I don't know why he wouldn't. Is he doing it? Nope. Odin King's struggling, to be honest. For some reason. And this, uh, this town center just about to fall down. Well, not really. He still has to kill off this longhouse, which is tanking a lot of the, of the catapult shots. And there he goes. That's the damage. And Swiss Boy just going after this town center here. Should be able to kill it. There's only hoplites here. Hoplites get completely massacred by the Yarls. Nice micro there by Swiss Boy to dodge the Bellerophon jump there. Another Medusa coming in. The old Medusa, actually. Seeing a Manticore. <laughs> He's making Manticore because he can't afford anything else. The Yarls are enough to kill them off. Three Patropolis are here for Odin King. That town center will be down. It's looking like this boy does not have a lot of options here. If he kills the caravans, he'll be in a good position, but he's out of gold. He hasn't started his trade route. And there's the GG. And this game was incredibly close for this Thor. And but the market, he didn't he didn't trade. He didn't start his trade route. If you start the trade route when you re-economize, it's three town centers worth of production. You don't need to even grab this gold mine. And you win. But he doesn't do it. And Only King takes the win. Takes the series. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.